Chalk Open Art Festival has been going for seven years now. It's our third year here in Parramatta. We were driving past and then we um, just got out of the car and had a look because it looked quite interesting. There's quite a few people here. The art is wonderful. I think they're very talented. I've loved it. It's so diverse. It's different. It's fun. It's cool. It's a four-day pavement art festival and we have artists from around the country. Uh, hi, I'm Andy and I'm from Adelaide, South Australia. Ala from Chippendale. Hi, I'm Clark from Melbourne. Gosh, it started because I guess of a love of art and artists and the process of art because people don't often get to see that. If you go to an art gallery or an exhibition, you see the finished work and it's the process that I find is very interesting. I first start from the general, the larger areas, and then work towards the specific. I will work with the general shapes, the biggest shapes in the composition, and then gradually refine towards detail. And I do that also by uh, pulling out lines from uh, where the view is there. They give the work its vertical depth in three-dimensional space, so they're quite important and, so I'd say, the uh, mainspring of the composition. Jenny McCracken. I'm the champion artist from 2010 and I also was lucky enough to win People's Choice. Pavement art has the advantage of being able to get out there and, and say something and I really like the idea of being able to refine messages and interact with the public and that's the beauty of it for me, that's the thing that keeps me coming no matter what. <laughs> This year we've got 32 artists competing in the competition. Uh, of that, probably 50% have been in the festival before. They share their ideas on the streets, they work together, they egg each other on, yet they all want to win. It's like art camp, four day art camp. Talk about what we've done, we look at each other's work, pick up tips and hints here and there. It's a fantastic opportunity to display your artwork in a public setting and in a much larger scale than you might otherwise work. And it's really nice to catch up with the same artists each year, um, as well as you know people going for their first time. We often get asked why we use chalk as the medium for this competition, and basically it is the most accessible and cheapest art material to use for mums and dads with their kids at home, and it's a great introduction to art. It is inoffensive, it's not permanent, you can just use it on the footpath at your house. I love, I love the challenge of chalk and the challenge of the pavement and all the, the weather and all the vagaries of drawing outside. It's a very seductive medium and I like that about chalk. The way you can blend colours together and the way you can put the colours next to the other and the way the colours are so bright because it's undisturbed here. This year we're part of Crave Sydney International Food Festival and that's part of the reason why our theme is food this year. The food theme is brilliant, the artworks, the different ideas that everyone's coming up with is just super cool. I suppose I wanted to do it better too because their life really revolves around their next meal. Um, I also just like drawing methods. <laughs> And we also have our feature artist for the year. And this year we have international food carver, Charlie Yan. <laughs> On Saturday and Sunday, we introduce the Have A Go Take Part In Art activities for everyone to join in. Uh, so that's where we have the little ears out chalking on the Parramatta chalkboard eel and we run the mini chalk competitions. Each year at Chalk there's always a few surprises and um, I have to say my favourite festival moment so far would have to be at the mini chalk competition that we were running with Eckersley's Art and Craft. We had a surprise group of contenders this year enter the competition from Waitara Centre Care. Their enthusiasm and wanting to get down and do some chalking, I have to say, fantastic, so much fun. So, um, love that. You got a favourite? I think the uh, cheeseburger with the big lock on the public also get to vote for their favourite artist and this year Chalk is just going headlong into the future using technology. We've got our iPads out on the street and people are able to vote via that. 
we wouldn't be able to do this without our volunteers coming down and joining us. They're all art lovers and they're all here because they wanted to make art to the people. So total kudos to our volunteers for keeping this festival going. And the winner this year is Jenny McCracken.